Yo, I'll be back at 11. You just act like a peasant. I got the broom on my panties. Hello, welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm here to do reflecting on my experience in the literary world for 2018. I want to just talk about, you know, books and literary and events that I attend and some who were well, I was trying to attend to unfortunately was either cancel or postpone. I'm not gonna say which one of those events was because I was really kind of disappointed because I was looking forward to going to two of them. One of them I had even got the time off from work and ugh, I just got so mad and that person that was doing that event, well, let's just say Fool me once, fool me twice. You won't get me a third time. And I'm going to leave it right there. But I just want to say that 2018 has been a great year for me for this literary world. Um, I just, you know, I'm thankful for the people who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I just want to say thank you. I want to give a thanks to Carrie Anderson, author Carrie Anderson. Please, if you have a chance, please go to her page. Go to Amazon, Carrie Anderson, and purchase one of her books. Um, Secret and Lies, I highly recommend. I love that book. She has a series of, I think it's like 14 books about the Wallace family. She also had one she just dropped on my birthday last month, on the 20th. Um, I, ooh, it's, I think it's Into the Sunshine, a I can't even remember. I'm sorry, Carrie. But it's on Amazon. And please support her. Angie Liddell is another one who support me. And I thank you so much, Angie. You just don't know how much it means to me. Also, La um, Laverne Barber. Thanks. You support me and everything. And I love how y'all come in the group and things. And my literary twin, Diane, remember, she pushes me. She, She's done so well with me, and we we are literally twins. We really are twins, and I love you dearly, Diane. You just don't know how much you mean coming into my life. Um, for us, the events that I went to this year, girl, have you met? I left here on a Friday. The event was on a Saturday. Got to Dallas. It was the weather was kind of. Hmm, it was okay. It was kind of warm that Friday, you know. Checked into my hotel and, and chilled a little bit. Went out to eat at Papa Do's there. Mm. If you've never been to Papa Do's, you need to go because I love me some Papa Do's and they had one. I wasn't planning on going anywhere because they had a, a restaurant there in the um, hotel, but the cook, I don't know what was going on with the cook schedule, but they wasn't down time and I was hungry, so I got the... Um, Shuttle take me to get me something to eat. That Saturday morning, I was so hyped and uh, just so excited to go to Girl Have You Met to meet Love Belvin, John Bonet, B Love, all the authors that was at Mercy B. Um, Bailey West was there. Um, Alexandra Horn was there. Um, I was so Decided to go ahead and show it to take me a little bit early and got there now, down there. And Chris, Christina C. Jones was like, Baby, we ain't ready. So I had to go back to the room. So I waited a little while. I came back. That was a great experience. I loved it. I mean, I loved how they engaged with you. I love the pre sale that Love Belvin did. A lot of authors, you need to take that in mind that. If you do a pre-sale, that's even better because it's like you don't have to be competing with the next author about your money because you already got your money when you do a pre-sale. And I just want to say um, the next event I went to, I think, I believe it was um, in July, I went to the 556 Book Chicks, a lot of kickback. And it was in Gwinnett this year. Unfortunately, it wasn't out here near where I live. I liked it out here. I just don't like Gwinnett. That traffic is a mess up there. It was nice. Um, I got to meet Mary Davidson. Um, it was really nice. Bought some books for, um, from a couple authors. Some of the authors that wasn't doing this right here. 
you know, if you all in your phone, you ain't trying to make no money. Or if you had an incident where the mother was going harder, you would thought the mother was the author, the daughter sitting back like chilling, like, man, yeah, mother. Then I was like, mm, no, no, mm -mm, no way. That's no way to do business. I mean, your mother didn't write your book, you know? So I was like, no. I bought I bought several books. Um I look forward to going to the book conference next year. I, that's what I really look forward to. Going to the book conference. It's paid for. I'm ready to go because my literary twin, she kind of got me all worked up after she had came down here and went. And I was like, man, I should have went, you know. But I'm looking forward to that. Um, I w got it. Oh, I know what it was. I um got a chance to meet Kimberly Robbie Lawson at her book signing for her last book of the Curtis Black series, Better Late Than Never. And it was just an honor to meet her because I wouldn't have never read that series if it wouldn't have been for my uh, co-worker, my good friend, Kimberly Robert. Um, oh, listen, me first say Kimberly Robert Lawson again. Kimberly Woodson, she the one started me reading the series and she checked out probably after book four or five and I kept right on. You know, I wouldn't read them every year she bring them out because she would bring them out every year. And that's good because you have some authors who do a series, they'll bring us the book out and then you won't see the book, uh, the follow-up to like four or five years down the line, you know, and she did do standalone, so that was great. It was nice meeting her here and everything. And last but not least, I had a chance to go to this event here in Atlanta. Um, I do believe it was in October. It was I'm trying to get the the t I have the brochure right now, sorry. Um the book social. It was here with uh Shakira Shakira Russian, um Marlon Matt I can't see I always have a problem saying his name. Muskinski. Muskinski. Uh, and who is it? Destiny Carter was there also. These are the authors that was there and also um Kenya York. Kenya York was there. I I liked it, this one because it wasn't too many authors. I got to, you know, buy quite a few books from each author because it wasn't that many. It was like I wanna say it was like one It was four authors all together because one didn't show up or something happened. And I I don't want to share this, but I just feel like I need to share this. I remember coming in, sitting at this social, book social, this older lady was there. She had her book. She asked me, was I an author? And I was like, oh, no, I'm not here. I'm just here to support. I gave her my business card. I said, I'll review books. So she was like, well, this is my book. And, you know, I was curious. I was like, you know, um, how much is your book? It was like probably a thin book, probably no more than probably, I would say, 50, 60 pages, if that. She said $20. I was like, I was like, you know, I just do that. But I'm like, oh, she, is she for real? I mean, she's not a known author. She trying to charge somebody $20 for a book that's not even 50, 60 pages. No, thank you. So then she go up to the table and ask, well, could she see? Because she was informed wrong, or at least either she lied one. It's because she came back, she was so upset. She was like, well, they told me if you was trying to push your book to come here and you could sell your book here. And I was like, so she got mad and left with her husband. That was a trip. But 2019, though, I my goal was is to continue to read series because, like I said, I fell in all of love with series because everybody's doing them and it's too much but this year I stuck with it and I read several series and I fell back in love with series so I looked to read more series 
Um, I, I look forward to reading new authors. Um, I still haven't read Black Top, and I have quite a few of his books. Christina Jones, I look forward to reading. I got some of her books. Alexandra Warren, got some of her books. Alexandra House, I read just read her um, Baby is Christmas. That's a short story, but I look forward to reading more a full novel by her. Um, more biographies. Because like I said, that Bobby Brown biography really took the cake because I wasn't expecting it to enjoy that book like I did. I really enjoyed that book. I just want to say last but not least, the highlight of 2018 is meeting my literary twin, Diane Member here. She flew in. I met her. I picked her up at the airport. We went out to eat at Bonefish Grill, one of my favorite restaurants, and just talked and just had a nice lunch and a good time together. I just want to say, Diane, I look forward to you to come down here next year and just hang with you during the book conference. Only this time, I'm going to be there with you. So I just want to thank you for watching this video and just looking for great things in 2019. I want to wish everyone a happy early new year and an <laughs> thanks for watching and have a good night. Please be safe out there on the streets. People, you know, it's crazy people out there and fireworks and everything going on. So please be safe tonight. Until next time, my next group of you. If you're at home, you don't have nothing to do, you know, this is what I recommend. Read a book. <laughs> Until next time, bye. <laughs>